Hello traders. What a day we had today. Uh, this is the biggest move we have seen in the S&P 500 in some time. Uh, hopefully this is a sign of good things to come. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm optimistic because um, a lot of people are hurting out there, their 401k and uh, some of their investments because uh, let's face it, it's not been a good year if you are in the market or really for that matter a good two years. But the nice thing about the price action strategy that we trade here is that you don't have to worry about the ups and downs of the market because you're getting in and you're getting out. There's not any long drawn out process where you have to hold for days and days and days. You're generally out within 10 minutes of most trades. So uh, the less that you can be in the market, the better it is because we are literally tiny, tiny fish swimming in a big sea of sharks. And the quicker we can make our trade, take our money, get out, the better off we are so that we don't get eaten by the big sharks. Anyway, so let's talk about today. I, uh, I had two trades today, and based on the movement, I, um, it could have been a lot more. Actually, I'll talk to you. I mean, there wasn't much to say here. The overnight high, overnight low, we had a positive news announcement, went right through the overnight high. And price just continued to move up all day. Uh, didn't give that many entry opportunities, though, which is a little disappointing. And that's just how this week has been. But um, anyways, there were a couple trades if you start when I start and you trade the way I trade. Uh, this one's going to be a little tricky. The first one we're going to talk about here. Uh, let me get rid of this cross here as I kind of mess these people up. All right, so right here we have a high definitely coming up. This is almost immediately, when I about 10 minutes after when I uh, sat down. Uh, we have a high. We don't have a first entry, but we have a second entry. Now, when I say we don't have a first entry, on the 2000 tick chart, we did not have a first entry and then, then a second entry. This would have been a first entry long. But when I've talked to you a little bit before about hidden first entries, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Here we had a high. Price moved down, price moved back up, price moved back down. Then we had a, another entry right here. Now I'm going to take my chart. Um, I hope this works. I didn't try this ahead of time here. I don't have to do this anymore because I can see by looking at it. But if you go down to a 1,000 tick chart and you go right back to where we were right there. I'll make it even one bigger there so it's easier to see. All right, so this is called the hidden entry in the 2000 tick chart. First entry, second entry on the 1000 tick chart. Now, we don't trade off the 1000 tick chart, but for trades like this, that makes sense within the context of what's going on. I have no problem at all taking hidden second entry longs and shorts. No problem at all. And that's exactly what I did here to start the day. And you could just tell by looking at it that on a smaller tick chart, that would have been a first entry. And there's your second entry. Um, and again, it's right on the trend line. It's right at the 21 EMA. There's so much working in favor of this trade. We had an overnight high, overnight low. We haven't gone back to the overnight high yet. So uh, that was an easy um, that was an easy trade. The problem with this trade, though, is that it was a huge bar, even though it doesn't look like a huge bar. That was a 20 point uh, stop loss for me. So I um, I downgraded to 12 tr uh, ticks on that trade. Um, and I went for 15, and I got to 15, but then my runner got stopped out uh, at break even. So, regardless, um, got 15 ticks off that trade, so that's a positive start to the day. And then I basically just said around 7 o'clock, I'm going to sit on my hands because I knew the news report was coming out, um, and uh, you can see what it did to the market. Came back uh, about 7:45 after having a little decaf coffee, and uh, anyway. You don't really care what I do in my free time. But anyway, so um, then price, when it settled down, it did go through that overnight high. But at that point, you're not sure if it's going to come back down because it did get rejected pretty strong. Um, so we're just waiting to see what's going to happen. And price then just continued to move up and uh, pretty much didn't look back the rest of the day. But it was kind of a weird, weird move up. Um, it just didn't give a lot of entries. So I, I would have... I would have preferred, I mean, like even right here, that could have been an entry, but it finished on the low and uh, the same low. So it just, it didn't hit my criteria. Now, if you took that trade and I know I didn't mark it, 
that would have been a great trade to take. Okay. Um, you know, if it showed up on your tick chart as something different, even without it in, in hindsight, that would have been a good trade to take because it is a railroad. Um, and it is at the 21 EMA and it is a second entry line and it would have worked out. Um, probably would have gotten your scalp around here and the runner actually would have worked out as well. But anyway, I did not take that trade because it didn't, the signal bar at that time, I just didn't, didn't meet my criteria. Um, moving on. And at this point I'm making my trend line come up. We had a break of the trend line. Uh, we had a first entry and then we had a second entry, barely a second entry. And that bar looks really small, but it's really not that small. It's just, um, some of the other bars today and, and with the up movement, it just doesn't look as big as the other ones. But I mean, that's almost a three, a three point bar. Um, at that point, I am actually have a 13 tick stop loss and I am going for eight on my scalp. And, um, yeah, I did not, my runner did not get hit on that one either, uh, but my scalp did. So, um, you know, positive, positive 15 ticks, positive eight ticks, uh, for my uh, my two trades today, my runners today or this week really just were were miserable. Uh, they did not get hit a lot, but when you take eight trades and seven of them hit your scalp, and I believe it was I'd have to go back and check. I think two of them hit my runners. Um, but you know when your scalps are are finishing at a higher percentage, you're still okay. Uh, the runners usually will go about forty percent, but this week they're um, they're under thirty percent right now and uh, that just means that we're going to have a long string of runners win at some point uh, i just don't know when that's going to happen but at some point it is going to happen so anyways moving on for the day here uh, you can see a little bit of sideways action a little bit of a correction here and then price just continued to move up this was a really really tempting bar for me to take um, because i'm looking at that as a momentum trade however uh, because we had that one bearish bar there, um, I just couldn't take that trade. It would have worked out really, really nice and um, would have gotten me a, a nice scalp. But I uh, couldn't take that. just wasn't quite strong enough um, as far as momentum goes. And that's kind of how the day was. Like it would move up and then it would go sideways for a while and that kind of thing. And, and actually this right here, I wanted to mark this trade. So there's a first entry. And then there would have been a second entry, but there are two reasons this wasn't a trade. And I know I've said this before, but I'll continue to remind you. Number one, um, it didn't finish within two ticks of its high. Number two, the next bar did not get us in that trade. So there wasn't enough momentum to carry us in. Kind of interesting, because if you waited and took the third entry, that would have been a nice signal bar to take. And uh, you would have had a very, very nice move. But at that point, um, I get weird on Fridays. I really do. Um, you know, normally I think I would have taken that trade right there just because it, it almost works out the same way. I mean, it, it legitimately is a first entry short, second entry short failure, and it's a little bit of a small signal bar. Um, that's the other thing about it. It's a little bit of a small signal bar, but um, I just uh, I just get weird sometimes in the uh, as the day goes by on Fridays not wanting to take a losing trade as my last trade. And it's a thing I've dealt with psych psychologically. I've dealt with it for a very, very long time. I just, um, I should have taken that trade. I don't have a reason why I didn't take that trade. Initially I saw this and I'm like, oh, it's over. But I just wasn't on my, uh, I wasn't on my game to say, well, you know, that is a first entry short, second entry short failure. Um, but I do get like that on Fridays and I've got to figure it out someday. I mean, I've been trading now for nine years. Um, I just like to go into the weekend with winners. It's just a mental thing and it doesn't always happen. Actually, plenty of times I've gone into the weekend with losers. Um, but I, I don't, you know, if I got two winners, I'm going to be very, very cautious to trade at all. But if you took that trade right here, that was a trade that you should have taken. And that was a correct trade. So congratulations if you took that trade. Anyway, price just kept moving up and up and up. Then we had some sideways action, then it would move up some more, and at that point I'm already done trading. Uh, there's really nothing there for me to, to trade. I was hoping for here a second entry short failure, but it just took off again, kind of moved up, then kind of went sideways here, correction. I mean, this, this it just didn't stop moving up today. It's like one of those uh, days, and then we had the same thing here, a little bit of consolidation, and then at the end of the day, price continued to move up. So... Uh, 
that pretty much does um, does me in for Friday. It was a successful day and a successful week uh, in regards to uh, making money. It just was a very, very hard week in regards to having patience and um, just waiting for your perfect setup to happen over and over again. But ultimately, these are the weeks that really um, that really test you because sometimes the setups aren't crystal clear um, when they're happening and uh, sometimes the signal bar isn't as big as you'd like and things like that. But um, when you take it all together with the context of what's going on, the signal bar meeting the criteria, and um, just being able to keep focused when you see almost the setup and then it doesn't happen, then you see another time where it's almost the setup and it doesn't happen, keep focused and not get frustrated. That was kind of the key to this week. But like I said, I'm never going to complain about winning eight times and lo- or uh, yeah, winning, winning seven times, I'm sorry, and losing one time. Um, I just, uh, I know next week and maybe the following week, not sure when it's going to happen, but I know probabilities and I know that my runners are going to take off at some point and get me back at that 40% uh, track, which we are not at this week. But anyway, I hope you guys had a great week trading and, um, you guys have something cool planned for the weekend, something fun, uh, something to, uh, relax. And if you get some free time, Go back and do a bar-by-bar analysis of this week and uh, what you traded, what you should have traded, and kind of just study it because these weeks happen and um, there are times a year where these weeks happen often. There are slow times a year and then there are fast times a year. Um, I'm wondering if this has something to do with the midterm elections, with it just being a little funky. Not, you know, still, still giving you trades, just a little funky. Um, because that can make things, you know, um, this is obviously a big year for the midterm elections, so that can make things um, a little weird sometimes as well, almost similar to what it does before a presidential election. So anyway, that's all I got, guys. Boomer is out. Hope everyone has a great weekend.